In the last episode of the Build Your Autonomous Drone hardware tutorial series, I demonstrated how to put together a quadcopter. As promised, this time I'm making a video about basic PID tuning with PX4 and Q ground control. Everything in this tutorial is based on the open source project Generalized Autonomy Aviation System. If you think this is helpful, make sure to give the project a start on GitHub. First, let's connect the flight control. Don't start the tuning right away yet. Pay attention to the firmware version, which is 1.80 for me. We need to update the firmware to its latest version, which is 1.9.2 at the time of recording the video. Unplug the USB connector. Choose the firmware tab on the left and plug the USB connector back into the computer. When the firmware setup window pops up, choose PX4 Fly Stack Stable Release version 1.9.2 and click OK. Now the firmware is upgraded, the quad will automatically connect to Q Ground Control. Let's reset all the parameters and restart the flight control. Now the firmware version reads 1.9.2. Now let's start the calibration. First, we need to select the airframe. This is a quad rotor X. For the model used, let's select DJI Flamewell F450 for now, as this is a model with similar performance as ours. Then choose Apply and Restart. The airframe tab has turned from red to gray, which means we can move on to the next tab. The level horizon calibration is disabled for now, so we will start with the calibration for accelerometer. Click OK to start calibration. Now we just need to follow the instruction to place the quad into six different orientations and hold still. This process may take a minute or two, so let's fast forward. The accelerometer is calibrated when all six boxes turn green. Next, we will calibrate the gyroscope. Click OK to start the calibration. We just need to leave the quad as it is on the flat surface. This may take about 20 seconds, so we'll once again fast forward. Next up, we have level horizon. Click OK and wait. and we're done. Next one is the compass. The procedure is very similar to that of accelerometer. We need to rotate the quad in the assigned direction as shown in the software. Again, we need all six boxes to turn green to continue to the next step. If this is your first time, you may need to do this for a couple of times to get it calibrated properly. Try not to rotate the quad too fast. Now that the compass is calibrated, QGround Control asks us to reboot the vehicle. But let's not do that now. Click OK to skip the reboot for now. Let's calibrate the transmitter in radio setup. I'm using Mode 2 radio controller. Single click the calibrate button and proceed with OK. Follow the instruction and match stick positions to the diagram on the upper right hand corner. Continue calibration until the software asks you to calibrate the transmitter switch. 
we will skip switch calibration by clicking next. Let's move on to setting up the flight modes. Usually we use channel 5 to set up flight modes. Set flight mode 1 to stabilized. Set flight mode 4 to altitude. Set flight mode 6 to position. Click the plane icon to go back to the main screen. Here we can check each flight mode. Note the position mode is rejected because we don't know the position of the quad yet. Now let's go back to vehicle setup and head to the power tab. Here we need to enter a specification of the battery. I'm using battery with 3 cells in series. The full voltage per cell is 4.2 volt, while the empty voltage is 3.3 volt. Now we need to calibrate the ESC. Make sure you remove the propellers before connecting the battery. Once the calibration is done, let's unplug both the battery and the charging USB to shut off the vehicle. Connect the vehicle with the USB cable again to restart the vehicle. Next, we need to do some advanced setting. Go to the Parameters tab. Search for AID underscore mask and choose the one that pops up. Because we are going to build a vision-based autonomous drone with gas, we will uncheck the GPS option and choose Vision Position Fusion and Save. We also need to change the height sensor under height mode from barometric pressure to range sensor mode. Under the LiDAR setting, sense underscore en underscore double l four zero ls, set the interface to I two C and save. We need to change the parameter for the circuit breaker sensor. We want to disable the CBRK USB check. Set the parameter to one nine seven eight four eight and save. Similarly, we want to disable the CBRK supply check. Enter the code 894281 and save. Once all the aforementioned parameters are set, let's go back to tools and reboot the vehicle. Connect the battery to the vehicle. Long press the safety switch. Let's see if we can arm the vehicle via kill ground control. Check any error message that's popped up. In this case, we'll respectfully ignore them. And let's go back to the main screen and arm the vehicle. Here we are, we have successfully set all parameters and armed the vehicle. We are one step closer to build an autonomous drone. In the next video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to set up the drone in a way that it can use SLAM and GPS denied environment for position estimation. I have written about SLAM for position estimation and gazebo simulator in the software tutorial episode 3. The next hardware implementation video will be a real drone realization of the same algorithm. Stay tuned and give gas a star on GitHub.